Yo, welcome back. It's your man, D. Rich. Hey, we're coming in here today looking at Elijah Craig Barrel Proof to kick off 2024. As you all know, three releases are dropped each year. You have your summer release, your fall release, your spring release. So this is the spring release. This is the first of the batch. This is A123. It is coming in as probably the lowest I've ever seen of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof ABV. Uh, it's coming in at 119, right? It, they average. They average on between like 126, 128, all the way up to 140. This is below average of 119. They average year on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is 12 years. We're looking at it, you know, that's what they shoot for, right? They took the 12-year label off because then they would have to live up to it, but they shoot for that 12-year range. This one is 10 years, 9 months. So she's young. And she's kind of low on ABV as well. But who knows? That may be the sweet spot. Maybe they know something we don't. We're going to find out right now. So in order to beat that ABV, I mean, you had to pull this out just right. You had to taste it, and they had to know something. I'm not an expert at barreling and, you know, distilling, but maybe somebody knows something I don't. I'm going to get on this nose. We'll get down to it right now. Mm. Okay, maple. Brown sugar, not maple, brown sugar. Vanillas. It's a nice note. It's an average. I mean, not average, I'm saying. Nothing's average about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It is your classic Barrel Proof Elijah Craig nose. Uh, when you talk about essential bourbons, in, like if, if I had to just say, what a bourbon was. Um, I'm looking at Elijah Craig. I'm looking at Woodford Reserve. Uh, I'm not saying those are my favorites, but when you think of bourbon, you think of those classics. Just always 100% delivers those straight bourbon notes to you, right? The definition of bourbon. And that's what this says Elijah Craig. Oh, marshmallows, caramel, caramel, and and brown sugar. Mm, this is sounds yummy. It's time to dig in. Orange zest was the first one I picked up. Some vanilla in there. A little butterscotch. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. The viscosity wasn't there. Uh, it was kind of a thin on the mouth feel to be a brill proof. That's not thin on the mouth feel for any other whiskey. But the category we're talking about, you got to think about it. We, we're talking about giants in the whiskey game, right? Elijah Craig whiskey, barrel proof whiskey is considered giants. So even if one giant is small to another giant, it's still a giant to most other whiskeys. So always keep that in mind uh, when I talk about it. I might talk down on it, but it's still a giant. Now I'm picking orange zest up on the nose. The caramels are still there. The maple's gone. It's more brown sugar. Caramel and brown sugar. Ugh. That was a much better one. It was a much better sip. Uh, definitely got some caramels. A little campfire sudden in there. Bacon spices. Not bad. Not bad. Is it a slight letdown? The only way I can be for sure is if I go to last year's 2023 bottle. A123, you know, came out the same time. Everything's the same just a year later. This one, I think, is over 11 months old. I mean, 11 years old. Uh, 125.6 is the proof. This is 119. This is 125.6. And it's a little older. 
So she's going to be our comparison tool, right? One year, what's the difference? This bourbon actually made my top five best whiskeys of the year. My best bourbons of the year, this was in my top five because that's how much I loved it, right? Yeah, the C923 was good. The B5 was delicious. But after really after doing a blind test, because when you remove the labels and you do it blindly, that's when the truth comes out. That's when it remove the Jordan label and the Nike and put the tennis shoes on and play basketball. And you tell me which one is the best shoe, right? Because up here, we already know what's the best before we taste it or before we do anything with it because mental is the strongest. All right, here we go. Last year's winner. Oh, beautiful nose. Very similar notes. No orange zest. Creamy. You can smell the cream. Now, this has opened up. This has had a, almost a year to open up. This just got cracked just now. So. Vanilla ice cream with a caramel drizzle. I don't even like vanilla ice cream, but this, this vanilla ice cream is good. Caramel drizzle. Oh. The viscosity is there. The mouthfeel is, is what's expected. Uh, it's definitely, uh, you, you can't, I think 10 out of 10 would, would, would choose last year's. But it's no slouch. We're comparing giant to giants. You're still talking Elijah Craig barrel proof. And would I get it? Yes. Would I advise you to get it? Yes. Why? Because I'm irresponsible. And I would say get two. This is what we do. We're bourbon lovers. Um, you got two good juices here. If you can find last year's, definitely jump on that. Uh, I was impressed with all three last year batches, actually. Um, but yeah, this is what we do, guys. Until next time, it's your man, D. Rich, and I'm going to sip on these right now. Peace.